Howdy, howdy. We're getting ready to live stream surveillance state pellets. Split the rock out here at Lafayette Park here in Washington, D.C. Please stand by all channels and all networks. We'll be up in about 10 minutes. So for those of you that are checking out the live stream or already have it up, we'll be up and running in about 10 minutes. Meanwhile, we're down here at the Peace Vigil with Barry, who's been manning the did it diligently for how long you been down here at the Peace Vigil? I've uh, been helping out for about two and a half years or so. Yeah, so Barry's down here every day. Come down and join him. We're right across the street from the White House. As you can see, lots and lots of students today. All out on their school trips. Let's hopefully they'll get an education. Anyway. I'm going to park it back here and give you a view of the upcoming stuff. So please stand by. The event starts, got people trying to tune in. Usually, everybody tunes in late anyway. Right? Today, we now have a corporate owned and operated government that is guided solely by profit. Snowden is one of 
several people actually that made us aware of the fact that the Fourth Amendment right of every single American citizen is being violated. But we live in a traitor and he's got to seek asylum in Russia. Meanwhile, the people continuing to violate our Fourth Amendment rights continue to do so. I mean, it's absolutely absurd. Right now, that this mega data collection, all of our phone calls, all of our emails, but beyond that, they want to get our medical records, they can. If you, they want to know where you bought something, when you bought something, what you bought. I mean, all of our personal information, which we should be securing, which we should have our privacy protected, instead is being collected on a massive scale. It's not about keeping us safe. They say it's about stopping terrorism. Well, you don't find a needle in a haystack by making the haystack bigger. This mega data collection is doing absolutely nothing to stop terrorism, but it is eroding the very document upon which we founded this country, our USS Constitution. And if you have to destroy our Constitution in the guise of keeping us safe, then exactly what is it that we are protecting us? I don't get it. Thank you, Barry. All right, well, we're going to head up to the uh, poets. Looks like they got a little gathering. Thanks a lot for the words of uh, wisdom. And Barry's down here every day at the uh, East Vigil, right across the street from the White House. Come down and join him. All right. to the uh, event here in just a second. Let me get the camera situated. Among other things. There's always a disconnect when you're listening to it. And it because there's like a six second delay. Kind of throws you off a little bit. Alright. So we're down here at Lafayette Park here in Washington, D.C right across the street from the White House, getting ready to attend a protest against the surveillance state and the NSA data collection here. This event was sponsored by Code Pink and Split the Rock Co Poetry Festival. A little brisk out here today, a little light rain. Should have brought an umbrella. So we're here. 
Lafayette Park here in Washington, D.C. For those of you just joining us at the Split the Rock Poetry Festival. A little bit of inclement weather here. Don't know how long I want to stay out now that the rain is coming up. Destruction. End of humanity. I think I'm going to go get an umbrella. I'll be right back, folks. Do me a favor. Let me borrow that uh, umbrella for a minute. Yeah. Nice. Bring it back. Ugh. Today's a good day to get cold. For those of you who are watching, it's not the warmest day out here in D.C. We'll be ready with the Stop the surveillance tape, put the rock in a few minutes here, so please stand by. Nope. It's not me so much, it's my seat. Now that we have an umbrella, woohoo! 